Okay, you know, I, I didn't know if I was going to make a video about the Mario movie. I figured it was a it was a movie trailer. I've never reacted to a movie trailer in a video on my channel, but it is Nintendo, and it actually is a pretty big deal. It's Nintendo's first real stab at making a Nintendo movie, unless you count, and I do, the Mario movie from like the 90s, which apparently I was the only one that actually liked the live action Super Mario movie, but they're trying it again but animated this time with Illumination making the movie in tandem with Nintendo. Apparently they said they've been making it for seven years and they revealed it today in a Nintendo Direct and at New York City Comic Con. Now again, I really, I didn't even think I was going to stream my reaction to this because it's just a movie. I talk about video games, but I started to realize this could really be the start of something big. And it could it could lead to a whole Nintendo cinematic universe with Zelda and Donkey Kong. And did I really want to miss the start of it and film my reaction? What if it's bad? Think of the memes. No! Yes! Production and, yes! Of the movie is going and well. no! But we just watched it live and um... Wow, I actually like it. I actually like everything I'm seeing here. The animation looks fantastic. The voice work is actually pretty good. I've been going on and on about this ever since they revealed they were making this movie and gave us that ridiculous cast of characters. What? First, what? Of course, whoa, whoa, is Mario, whoa, whoa, what? Who will be played by what? Chris Pratt. What? No! Why? So cool. What? Mario huh? will be talking a huh? lot in the movie. What? Please look no. forward to Mario as performed no. by the very talented no. Chris Sutton. But every single one of those characters, those voice actors, those people that they hired to be in this movie have not done character work before. Sure, they've been in movies. Jack Black was in Kung Fu Panda, but he was Jack Black. He just did a Jack Black voice. Done well. <laughs> I've done awesome! Oof. And Seth Rogen was in Sausage Party, but he just did Seth Rogen. I gotta tell everyone! Like he's, all of these actors have only ever played themselves, whether it's in a live action movie or a voice acted movie. So I really didn't know how this was going to go. I thought maybe they were gonna do a Jumanji thing where a bunch of these like actors, these people in the real world get sucked in to a Mario universe. But then again, it's Illumination and all they do is animated. So surely it had to be fully animated, right? So what, what were they gonna do? Make these actors do voice acting for the first time? Open the gates! So they are doing character work. Yes, actually, that's what's happening and it works. The animation's really cool. The story looks pretty much as you would expect. You have Bowser going around different kingdoms, I'm guessing, because they're in this snow area that probably has an actual name. I'm a bad Mario fan. Roasting all of these adorable little penguins. Very great animation with fun interactions. It's already very a funny story, as you would expect, because I've seen the Minion movies and they are funny. But I was so nervous to hear Jack Black speak for the first time as Bowser, and he crushed it. <laughs> I do not. The very first line he delivered didn't sound like him at all. Open the gates! I could barely even tell that was Jack Black. It just kind of sounds like a badass Bowser voice. The next line he delivered had a ton more personality in it, but it was very in tune with an animated movie version of what I would expect from Bowser. And the, 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 the way they've animated the face to be all fun, charming, and character, you know, that goes in tandem with having a more natural sounding voice, but it has the Bowser grunt. <laughs> I do not. Jack Black has taken inspiration from the character and how he breathes and talks, and he's worked it into an actual understandable dialogue, which I appreciate that a lot. Then the next voice that I was wondering how this was going to work was Toad and Keegan, because Toad is... Nah, nah. It's like just a bunch of these nostril noises. <laughs> it's like... A, nah. Here we go! But Keegan even did a great job at taking the character at Toad and turning it into a voice and putting that that raspy element, that, that long drone of Toad into the talk, into the speech. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! So again there, uh, we have a great voice acted version of Toad from an actor who usually doesn't do voice work, but these actors are taking inspiration from the Mario universe and implementing them into the characters, which I love. And then you got Chris Pratt. That, that was the one we were all worried about, right? Like, what was he gonna do? Like, I don't think he could do an Italian accent. That would seem a little 
weird. I mean, Charles Martinet does do an Italian accent, but Chris Pratt doing one, I just don't think as a society we're ready for that. So there was talk of him doing a Brooklyn accent instead and having Mario be from the streets of New York. And I did react to this live and my chat and I had a little bit of debate about whether or not this is a Brooklyn accent. Here we come. I don't want to act like I'm any kind of professional here just because I've moved an hour away from Brooklyn and I've been there a bunch lately, but I don't know. It's just, it's not that thick, I guess. Maybe it's slight, but when you have a slight accent on somebody whose voice is as recognizable as Chris Pratt because he's literally in everything always, it's just kind of going to sound like Chris Pratt. That's just Chris Pratt! Also, the delivery of the voice line, I feel, was a little flat. It's not even got that much excitement in it. Like, he's going to Mushroom Kingdom, and he's just going, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. And that's... I think to be expected, like I've seen a lot of what Chris Pratt has done and I, yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of just expected this. I think it's a little bit more as my, someone in my chat said, Uncanny Valley too, because you have the whole Mario universe here. You have characters like Toad, which is not a humanoid character. I mean, kind of, but not really. It's a creature. It's a thing. Yeah, Bowser is a thing. Penguins are a thing. All these things are talking with these very animated cartoony voices, even so much to as to try and incorporate the video game versions into the voices. And then you have Mario who's changed. I mean, visually, this is on the animation. The animation has made him look more human. They've changed his face. It looks more like a, a cartoony version of a real guy, not like whatever Mario actually is. So now all of a sudden you have that character in this world, which is already a little uncanny valley, but then you just give him a normal speaking voice, just a normal Chris Pratt speaking voice. So it, it feels immediately jarring. But then something that we went back and we talked about and we thought of is this trailer shows this Mario landing in the Mushroom Kingdom for the first time. He even says, where am I? Because look, he's like never been there before. All right, I think we're on to something. What is this place? Yeah, he's never been there before. That is actually how... Mario, the games started with Mario and Luigi coming through a tunnel and entering the Mushroom Kingdom for the first time. And they're not from there. They they land there. They, they live there now, but that's not where they started. So I do think there's merit here to the story. And we're going to find more about this later. But maybe this is like a human character. Maybe he's from New Donk City or maybe he's from the real world. And it just like things are kind of more normal there. And they just kind of talk like humans. And he's been sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom and now he's a human in the Mushroom Kingdom. And as much as this voice is jarring to me right now and maybe to a lot of people, for anyone that is worried, I think when you see that and if that's the case and the pieces get put, and I, it seems like it is, because you see him landing in and being confused and going to Mushroom Kingdom for the first time. I think when you have the whole story given to you and you see a bunch of real characters in like New Dog City or maybe even the real world, which I doubt, I think it'll be animated still, but animated more realistically, then sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom, you'll be along for that ride. And now suddenly Chris Pratt just kind of sounding like a slightly Brooklyn Chris Pratt but won't be nearly as jarring because you, you kind of understand a little more what's happening now, as opposed to this first look where we've seen the opposite. We've seen the Mushroom Kingdom. We've seen Bowser. We've heard their voices. They sound cool. They kind of sound better than we expected. And then, oh. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Yeah, that's Chris Pratt. <laughs> so I'm holding a lot of judgment out on that, but overall, wow. I think that actually was very cool. I can see this being a super successful movie, if not just for kids. I mean, that's obviously where movies like this are targeted towards anyway. Doesn't mean adults can't enjoy them, like Kim and I watching The Minions the other day. Clearly a kid's movie, but you know, we get a chuckle and we get a laugh. And with this, the Nintendo movie, the Mario movie, we get to see our childhoods be brought to life on the screen for essentially the first time. Oh, wow. Whoa, he looks kind of cool, kind of weird. We didn't get to hear Charlie Day. We saw Luigi at the end for a little bit. I'm going to assume that he came along for the ride with Mario, so he probably sounds like Charlie Day and he's not doing character work either. I'm sure putting on a little bit of an accent, but uh, he already has that Philly PA accent, which is very adjacent. But not only that, Charlie Day kind of just 
sounds like Louis. I don't know. When look, Charlie Day already has a very interesting voice. Ah! Fire through the dishes! You're just gonna make me do them anyway! And Charlie Day is an incredible actor, so I definitely excited for that. And then to see all the other characters uh, do their versions of the Mushroom Kingdom characters. And yeah, animation looks great. Story looks great. I am surprised by this one. I truly, truly am. I think this is gonna be a great movie any way you slice it. Man, I spent hours of my life stomping <laughs> Koopas. Oh my God, cringe. All right, everyone. I uh, appreciate you guys. I wanted to give my thoughts on it because I actually had a lot more to say than I thought I did. I'm going to be live tonight on Twitch. So if you want to watch that, come and hang out. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And let me know what you thought of the movie. Let me know down below. I have a new video like tomorrow morning. So watch that too. I actually like to direct for once. <laughs> wow.